Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Meg Yelaney. I am a business coach helping online coaches stand out on social media, attract their soulmate clients so they can really build a business that's a reflection of who they are. All right, let's get to it. This video is gonna be one of three. It's gonna be a little series I'm gonna do in a row every single week for three weeks. And it's gonna be a recap of a really epic workshop I did inside my Facebook group called Your Personality Authority Blueprint. This workshop was all all about how to really show yourself as an authority in your industry and be known for being an expert at something, but also show your personality. This was a huge question I got from so many people is, how do you show that you are an authority and you know what you're doing, right? And you are a go-to person if someone needs that kind of help, but also show your personality. How do you do that and still be taken seriously? And I have created a really, really awesome presentation for you. So it's pretty meaty, it's pretty long. I'll link the whole thing down below from the Facebook group if you wanna hop in there and just watch it straight through, no problem. But I decided to break it into three sections for you. So this will be number one of three, and then next week we'll launch number two, and then number three after that, putting it all together. So I can't wait to see you inside the video. So let's dive in again. This is part one of three. So we're just going to talk about really how to start sharing your personality. The next one will be about your authority. And the third will be all about how combining those two is so important. So this is a question I get asked a ton and which is why I'm doing this video. It's why I did this workshop is how do I show my personality online and still be taken seriously, still be seen as an authority. And like, I know what I'm doing, right? Other things I've been hearing lately is I often struggle being myself and knowing that's enough when showing up on social media. I struggle with not second guessing the things I post because I worry about the judgment from my family. I don't know how to incorporate more of my personality in a way that relates to my business. And I'm here to tell you, because I've built my entire business off of this, you can have both relatability and authority. The key is to make sure your free content is actually really great. And I'm going to show you some specific examples of what I mean. Not just fluff, not just teasing, but truly helping people move forward towards that transformation your coaching helps them experience. And here is proof that this works. I mean, check out this application we received for my group program. I'm just going to read a clip of it. Otherwise we'll be here forever, but I have a group program that someone applied to. And a question I have is why are you applying? And why do you think Meg is the perfect coach for you? And this program is the perfect program for you to help you get to the next level in your life and business. I recommend having this question, by the way, in your applications for any program, it'll give you so much insight into why people are applying. And that is huge for your marketing, right? So you can either do more of it or you can go, oh, that's not what I want to get across. I need to change that. Right. So she said, I've been looking for business coach which is specifically one that would attract clients through so that would help attract clients through social media. When I came across the video of Meg dressed up as Alexis, I do a series of reels on Instagram called Alexis as your biz coach, which is from Alexis Rose from Schitt's Creek. I'm basically imitating her. It's one of my favorite TV shows. And I thought it'd be really fun to do a little series and give people business tips, but the opposite of what they should do. And then the caption, I give them the actual tip just for a little background for you. I was like, uh, what? I love Schitt's Creek. Ew, David. And was immediately drawn in having no clue what the post was even about. Digging deeper and deeper. I found the content creation video. And by the end of it had written out so many ideas. It even had me thinking of restructuring how I sell my products. To be honest, I just looked at other coaches in my industry and went off of them and it hasn't felt right. I love how Meg is herself and does it her way because it, but still follows what seems to be some basic principles for attracting clients. After that one content creation video, I've already gain more confidence in starting to create content for my business that is me, not someone else, and writing an outline for restructuring. I can only imagine what having Meg as a coach will do for me and my business and making it my own. Um, and this is just like one of many that we get in that way. And that's why I wanted to create this because I know how powerful it is to really show who you are. It helps you stand out. It's not just the boring, same old, same old tips, right? And true story, I signed a $21,000 client by singing Moana. I had a client join my group coaching program after she watched this specific video it's i'm going to link it in the description below so you can check it out i'll say moana igtv and it was a pitch for my program but i sang my own version of how far i'll go for moana i rewrote the lyrics and i like to take popular songs usually disney and rewrite them to sell my programs or share a business tip and it's just really really fun Oop, oh, we're clicking to here just so you can see what it looks like. I didn't realize I did that, but maybe I'm supposed to. So just so you can see a little bit of, of it. And I'm going to, again, link the whole thing below because it's about, I think it's a minute. So I'm not going to like waste your time now, but you can look down below. Um, 
And I literally have my own version of it. And then in the right, I explain more about the program and I really break it down. But you could see like one second of it here. I'll, I'll skip ahead for a second. And I rewrote the lyrics to match my program. And this was like the thing that helped this client go, okay, I need this program. This is it. Let's see if this works. Clients that you love. So silly. Model one is fun, ideal client work. Model two, we dive into research. Not just fluff, but deep inner thoughts come through. So you'll finally see your... I was like looking at the lyrics, hoping that people didn't see that I was looking at the lyrics, but I needed to look at my own rewritten lyrics there. <laughs> I'll link that down below so you can see, but I love to do videos like these. I do these pretty often actually, and it's really, really fun. People look forward to it and it connects me with my audience on such a deeper level. So this specific client had bought other programs of mine before we had been connecting for quite a while. And I had even hired her company to run one of my social media channels now too, actually. And the trust was built like, right. We trusted each other, but this Milana video for lack of a better term sealed the deal. We quickly realized that she was too advanced for this program. And she jumped into my high level mastermind, which was a six month, very intimate coaching container that cost $21,000. This is the power of intentionally fusing your personality into your content while still showing you're an authority. If you do it consistently and strategically, it compounds into soulmate clients who pay you because of you, if you are a personal brand, right? Did she take me less seriously because I sang a Disney song to promote my program? No, as you just read, she took me more seriously and went on to pay me over $20,000 for my coaching. So I'm going to pause this really quick because I want to jump to the personality section, and then we're going to dive into the authority section in the next video for you. So what is personality? Seems kind of silly, but we're going to define it. Uh, the combination of characteristics or qualities that form an individual's distinctive character or qualities that make someone interesting or popular. And I want you to notice the definition that form an individual's distinctive character, qualities that make someone interesting. Your personality doesn't need to be out there or extroverted or to in order to make it in the online space. The most important thing is that it's authentic and actually your personality, right? And I'll talk about this more later, but this is so important because if you're bringing in clients, presenting yourself a certain way, and then they come into your coaching container and they're like, wow, this is not who you are at all. They're going to be sorely disappointed. It's going to be really out of integrity. And you're going to be exhausted. If you are trying to put on a face, if you are trying to like present yourself a certain way that you're not, you're going to feel like you're always acting. Right. And that is not what it's about. I get this question a lot is like, how are you not exhausted from all the content you put out or work you do? And one of the reasons is because I'm being fully myself every, every second. It's not exhausting when you're being yourself. If you're trying to be someone else that you're not, that's freaking exhausting, right? So why is it important to show it in your business? Why is it important to show your personality as a personal brand? It is literally what will differentiate you between the other coaches in your industry who are sharing the same strategies, talking about the same problems and telling their audience they can help them insert their goal here, the same goal. It's what makes you relatable to your audience and what will build massive trust and connection, which is so important as a personal brand. So we're going to dive into personality. So a few things I want you to do is I want you to write down all of your personality traits and I'd actually encourage you to pause this YouTube video while you're watching, because I think this is a great exercise for you to do while you're watching. I will link a workbook down below for you. Um, that is what I made for the, the full version of this workshop that you can use to take some notes. Um, if you asked a friend or close family member to describe you, what would they say? When the camera is off and Instagram is put away, who are you? How do you act, right? Write all that down. Things like, what kind of humor do you have? Is it sarcastic? Is it dry? Is it dark? Is it perky? Is it silly? Um, what kind of fashion do you love, right? This is more of your doing, like things that you actually do or things that people would say, oh, you know, they, they wear very neutral colors or like very luxury vibe or very bright colors. What are your favorite TV shows or movie genres? What hobbies do you love? What routines do you stick to? What's your favorite food, favorite drinks, places to travel? travel, write down all of those things. And remember, you are a personal brand. People will relate to you more when they know things about you outside of just your business. Share what you feel comfortable sharing. And important, keep your private life private if you want to, right? Vulnerability for vulnerability's sake is not what we're after here, right? If you're going to share something vulnerable, it's got to be true. And I think it should relate to whatever your audience is consuming. So if you're sharing something that they're not going to connect with just because it's vulnerable. It's, it's going to miss the mark. I shared about my marriage uh, pretty vulnerably. And the reason I did was because so many of my 
clients, so many people in my audience were going through something similar and their business was affecting their relationship. And I wanted to share about that because that's a huge part of building your business is how do you balance your personal life? How do you balance that work-life balance? It's not really a thing, right? And that's why I shared it. And so many people connected with it for that reason. It's not vulnerability for vulnerability's sake. And there's still plenty of those parts of, of that story that I didn't share and I kept private and they will always be private. So don't think that you just because you're sharing who you are, you have to share everything, right? Keep what you want to keep private, keep it private. One of the biggest things I hear people say when they meet me at events, which I really miss and hopefully can do soon is, wow, you're exactly the same as you are online. I hear that from clients who I, who also start working with me online. And it always shocks me that they're pleasantly surprised. I'm like, isn't that the point? I'm not putting on a personality. I am myself, even when marketing, especially when marketing and you get to be as well. I truly see my business as a place to express myself. And I hope that by the end of this workshop, again, the the three-part video series you're going to watch on YouTube for the next few weeks, that you feel a little more comfortable to do that as well. This will, one, build massive trust with your audience because they can tell when someone isn't being authentic. Trust me. Number two, it's going to make you feel way more confident when sharing because you're no longer censoring yourself or worrying what other people will think. And three, it helps you put out higher quality content because you're not putting it through an unnecessary filter every single time you post. Okay, we're going to talk more about authority in the next video. So I'm going to pause this and skip to some examples of personality for you. So the examples that I was going to share with you, I was just about to, I want to save for the next few videos because it really starts to talk more about how to combine your personality and authority. But I am going to link that IGTV that I referenced that secured me a $21,000 client down below. And I'm also going to link down below the Alexis as your biz coach series that I've been doing on Instagram reels, just to show you like here's showing part of my personality. And in the next video, I'm going to talk more about how to really establish your authority. And then the third video will be about combining them. And you're going to see how it kind of all comes together. But before you di we dive into that authority part, I really want you to get this down. I want you to do that doing and being exercise check out the workbook down below because we kind of prompt you through it. And I want you to start thinking, what are some aspects of those lists, right? The personality traits that I have, the things that I, I like doing, the hobbies I have, all of that. What are the things I think will connect most with my audience? And I want to even encourage you to like, start putting that out there. If you're on Instagram specifically, start asking your audience, hey, do you also love this TV show? What is your favorite hobby? Do you connect with this? And start sharing a little bit more of who you are beyond just what you help people do. In the next video, we're going to tie together your authority. And then in the third one, we're going to really put it all together. And it's going to help you have content that both shows your authority and your personality at the same time, which is just such a beautiful combination to help you stand out. All right, so the next clip will kind of be wrapping all this up and then we will see you in the video, the next video after. Thank you for coming along for the ride with me. Again, parts two and three will be in the next few videos. I will make sure to link the entire workshop down below. It's in the Facebook group, pinned to the top under guides and check out free workshops and you'll see your personality authority blueprint listed there. If you just wanna watch it all the way through, go for it, totally fine. We're also gonna link the workbook for the entire workshop below as well so you can follow along. But I hope this helped you and I can't wait Wait to see you start really showing more of who you are and your personality on social media. Again, I know I said this during the video, but I want to just reiterate, you are, if you are a personal brand and that's why you're here and building this, it is so important to really communicate who you are. What do you stand for? What do you stand against? What is your personality like? Especially if you want to attract high ticket clients that become friends, right? You want to work with people you actually enjoy working with day in, day out. If you are working with them at a high level and very intimately and really showing your personality and showing who you are to your core is going to be a huge way to stand out because there's only one you. This is how I built my business. This is how we've had so much success. And a lot of my clients have done the same. So I hope you take this to heart and I'll see you in the next video.